So the United States struggles with an obesity problem, and I think we may have just solved this issue. Two minutes, 14 seconds, a new personal best. You know, it's just a normal night, you're going to bed, everything's fine, and then you get woken up in the middle of the night by some dude with a chainsaw chasing you out of your apartment. I mean, imagine if this was actually real and people were signing up for it, not knowing what they were getting into, and then you go to bed and you're just woken up in the middle of the night. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I sure as hell wouldn't feel accomplished about my new personal best time for running out of an apartment from a dude who literally looks like he's about to kill me. My name is Mike Franklin, and I'm the founder of Scare Shitless Fitness, the world-renowned fitness regime that's fueled by fear. While other gyms focus on hard work and dedication to see results, our fear-based model guarantees that even the laziest sack of shit will get a full cardio workout before sunrise. Wow, what a motto, dude. You can already tell you're gonna get this insane cardio workout before sunrise just if you sign up for this program. But what's scary is that you never know when they're gonna strike. So like you could be in the worst physical state to be going for a jog or something. And then all of nowhere, boom, a clown pops out and he starts chasing you down the street and you run down to this alley. And then there's another clown there who starts chasing you away to this dumpster. And the next thing you know, you're walking on stage to go on Oprah Winfrey's Weight Watcher show. Everyone's praising you. You're a hero. You're the first person to sign up for this program. Everyone loves you. Life is great. Just tell us who you fear, and we'll handle the rest. Okay, if you didn't catch what just went on in that last clip, they were filling out a Google form, and they were telling the user to put in what or who they fear, and this is where I think it goes a little too far, but it's still pretty funny, and you can tell they're joking. Like, this is all just one big joke, because it was uploaded by Comedy Central, which is a huge comedy channel on YouTube. And don't get me wrong, I'm not a normie, I don't get offended, I'm not even Mormon in the first place, but, like, they might just want to be careful, because, like, you know, if a Mormon person saw that, and they felt like they were feared by people, then, you know, that might be kind of offensive to them. This exploits your fight or flight mechanism, forcing a uh, fear and do shit out of your system, shedding uneven weight while I'm for a fast getaway. That's actually disgusting. Imagine sitting on a bench in the park and you see this dude running from these two dudes on a bike and he ends up shitting himself and it falls out of his pants. Let's also just take a quick little second to appreciate this guy's running skills. I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Inspiration for my stepdad who used to chase me around the house with a knife. My therapist said I was traumatized, but my body mass index expects to differ. You know, I feel like this guy made a really epic body transformation as a kid. And imagine he goes into school one day and all the kids are like, Whoa, you look so much slimmer than usual. They're like, how do you pull it off, man? And he's like, oh, my stepdad used to chase me around with a knife. So everyone's like, whoa, 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 that, that doesn't sound okay. That sounds like abuse. We should, we should have you see someone. So, you know, you go to the school counselor and he's talking to him. And they're like, well, we're gonna have to have you move in with something else. We can't have you living with a crazy person like this. And he's like, well, ma'am, my body mass index begs to differ. Fully featured costume workshop to our professional out of work actors. We could turn any nightmare into a reality. Childhood trauma, homeless people, police brutality. I'm curious to see what they mean by childhood trauma because maybe they'll have that one kid who stole my lunchbox in third grade. Maybe he wants to throw hands. Maybe he'll end up winning Scare Me and I'll get a good cardio workout in. Who knows? It's amazing to see the effort that they are going through just to get these costumes around to give you a good cardio workout. I mean, most gym programs or fitness programs will have you pay 15, maybe 20 bucks a month, and they'll give you these cardio machines if you're trying to lose weight that you keep consecutively using. But Scared Shitless Fitness goes the extra mile, and they personalize it to fit you so that you know when you see your fear, you better start running. I've been sued 14 times. Sure I have. But do my clients get the results they want? Absolutely. I really like how he's honest and he tells you that he's been sued 14 times. And even though this is really a horrible way to get people to exercise, at least they still get the results they want. And it's something different from all those other boring programs. Like, come on. So I'm sure that this mom signed up not even knowing what she was getting into and this is another example where she's at the park but this time she's having a nice picnic with her kids and you know just to get her to start running they take her kids they put them in a van and they start driving down the street now obviously even if you were a fitness business you would definitely get arrested for doing this no questions asked but in the end the mom got her children back and she lost the weight she really wanted to lose 
clients who are into group workouts, our corporate plan is great for any office. Nothing's more frightening than herd mentality. The fire's uncharacteristically moving down the building. You gotta get back up to the roof. Let's go, let's go, up the roof, up, 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 up those stairs. Keep going to the roof, to the roof. You know, if I was working a boring nine to five job and then they were doing this group workout that I didn't even sign up for, I would probably say, you know what? Let the fire get me. Like, honestly, just let it consume me. I don't care at this point. Just kidding. I don't hate working out that bad. Fire's all over. We gotta get our heart rates up and blow this fire out. Let's go. Jumping jacks, everybody. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Hoof, 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 hoof. Cleanup can be a little messy, but the results reek for themselves. It also confuses me how people didn't figure out that, you know, it was just the drill and they were just trying to get them to work out. And the reason I say this and I'm confused to why they can't figure it out it's because there's shit all over the stairs. I mean, you cannot be that scared over a fire alarm. I mean, granted, everyone has their fears. And his pun at the end, not funny, didn't laugh. Anyways, if you guys are new, please do consider subscribing. It helps my channel out so, so much. It's not even funny. And if you like the video, make sure to drop a like. And if you have any other videos for me to make in the future, comment it down below. And maybe I'll pick your topic next. Anyways, I will see you guys all later.